Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Sivar Tankamani, an integration technical architect. So today we are going to see uh, an interesting topic of how we can consume REST and SOAP services. And uh, I'm going to give a demonstration of both uh, uh, REST and SOAP service consumption uh, by means of uh, some existing REST and SOAP service that I have taken online. So we are going to see that in four different steps. Uh, first, we are going to uh, see how we can invoke a REST. And for SOAP, we are going to use a web service consumer component and we are going to import WSDL and we are going to choose the uh, corresponding operation and port that we will be interested. And finally, we will be constructing and setting the input XML payload for the selected operation. Let's get started. For today's demonstration, we are going to take uh, two simple APIs and the SOAP service which are already available and exposed for uh, uh, sample uh, usage purpose. The one that I like the most is uh, requestresponse.in. It's a website with uh, just hosting um, a REST API for free and uh, uh, this website is made available 24 bar 7 for free access. So I like this and uh, I find it very useful so you can also use this. I'll try to put this URL in the description below which you can try it uh, yourself. So the, this is the first API which we are going to use uh, from this website and uh, I'm going to be using this uh, resource path called users to get uh, users details in JSON format. So the, the way I like this so much is that it's using URI uh, parameter like when we change this uh, within the URL we are getting different data. For two, we are getting one detail. And for three, we are getting different details. So this is what we are going to use uh, to demo uh, REST API invocation. And uh, for SOAP, I'm going to be using this online calculator Vistel um, available publicly for some sample use. So uh, this Vistel is available online. And this is for uh, uh, doing some simple uh, calculation. So let's, uh, so I have already uh, imported this Vistel in my SOAP UI. So let me show you how it looks like. So this is the web service address and it accepts two parameters and it uh, performs some simple calculations like uh, uh, addition, division, multiplication and subtraction. Let's try this addition. This is what we are going to use in our demonstration. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at uh, how to consume a REST API. So I have created a, a new project called Web Service Consumption and I added uh, uh, two flows. And uh, one is uh, Web Service Consumption REST and another one is uh, flow for consuming SOAP service. So uh, it's a very simple one uh, to call API. I think uh, I have several other videos where uh, we have invoked API, you can take a look at that. But nevertheless, uh, it's important to understand how to uh, how to access uh, external REST APIs. So I have introduced the HTTP listener uh, uh, with a simple resource path called the users. And uh, the content is simple. We are going to set the uh, user ID that's going to come from input payload. So here is my um, input payload, which I have uh, uh, set up in my SOAP UI. So for users, uh, I'll be passing on uh, the data parameter called input number, which we'll be using inside. So uh, that's the variable user ID, and we are logging it. And uh, this API is invoked easily by setting up the request configuration, which you can do by HTTP. And you have different uh, HTTP components and you need to use a request because we are going to send the request to the existing HTTP service. So drag and drop and you will have this uh, uh, component. So where you can click plus uh, so that you can configure the external API. So this is how I configured. Uh, it's a HTTP service and uh, the host I have copied from the URL and it's uh, always uh, web services hosted under 80. If the HTTP yes uh, service is hosted uh, in 443 port, as you all know. And uh, this is a simple configuration. Let's run this now. 
the project is already up and running it's already deployed so we are going to invoke this so the input number is given as 8 uh, which is uh, supplied uh, uh, while we are calling the external API, this number is added as the URI parameter and you are getting this. So let's change this. Let's try with the 2 and you get different data. So this is a simple method uh, to invoke uh, REST API. Now let's move on to uh, access SOAP uh, API which is uh, accessed via Vistel. So I'm going to use this calculator uh, uh, free Vistel service available and hosted online. So, which you can copy. So, this Vistel is accessible. So, you need to check if Vistel is uh, accessible uh, online. So, only then you will be able to call the uh, corresponding service. So, uh, so let's create this flow. I have already created with a uh, HTTP listener. Let's check this. And this listener is uh, invoked with the path uh, convert. So what we are going to do here is uh, we are going to use the critical component called web service uh, consumer. So you can search here, consume. So you need to choose, uh, uh, I mean there are the varieties of consumption, JMS, web service and VM. So you need to ensure that you drag and drop uh, consume. So once you drag and drop, uh, uh, you will need to create a connector configuration with the help of Vestel. So I have already done that by clicking plus, but let's go back uh, to see how it looks like. So uh, you will be provided with the visitor location, service, port and address. So all you need to do is uh, uh, paste the visitor location here and then uh, bring the cursor here. Automatically uh, the metadata will be fetched uh, uh, by uh, any point studio and it uh, brings out all the necessary operation based on how the visitor is constructed. So based on this uh, 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 service, uh, service name, port name and the address, it fetches all the details one by one. So but you need to choose the service and then bring the cursor to the port. And once you choose the port, you bring the cursor to the address and then it will get automatically populated. So if there are more than one service, in fact, you need to choose from the drop down. Here I have chosen calculator and then you have uh, port two different ports available I have chosen this one so you can say ok and uh, uh, here after choosing this uh, configuration uh, you need to choose the operation under this drop down you have so many operations you have to choose add so I'm going for just for demonstration purpose I have chosen add so um, so that's it uh, and uh, once you have this consume uh, let's let's open this uh, in the SOAP UI. So um, so first let's access this Vistel manually by using SOAP UI. So I have uh, loaded this Vistel here in SOAP UI and it shows uh, add by double clicking which it brings out automatically uh, the envelope header and body structure. So I'm giving this, uh, there are two numbers int A, int B. And I'm going to give this value 10 uh, the same number in both places and then try to access it. So you get the response uh, uh, 20. So how to access this? So you need to uh, uh, take a note on uh, how this XML structure looks like because you need to build it uh, within the data weave uh, with the same structure. Let's go back and see how the transformation looks like. So once you place the consume, automatically uh, the project will come to know the metadata that's related to the Vistel based on the uh, definition, it uh, fetches all the metadata. So uh, after putting this consume uh, component here, if you drag and drop uh, transform message, you might need that, uh, you might uh, need to note that uh, the metadata is automatically loaded here. So you don't need to worry too much and uh, um, by double clicking which automatically it adds the necessary definition. So I'll show you uh, later on after running this project because there are some important things to note uh, while, while performing these things. So first let's run this. So I'm setting the variable 
input number based on uh, the data that is coming in the request. So, this is the this is the project that we are going to use with the resource path convert and same input number we are going to use uh, for both int a and int b in the visible and uh, let us see. So, now the output of this is xml. So, let us take a look at that. So, the same number is given twice. So, result is coming as 4. Let us change it. Let us giving it let us give it as 30 and run it. So, you get 60. So, how is it achieved? So, uh, we have the uh, variable input number taken from the uh, payload and we are uh, constructing this XML because you can use note here based on the visual the SOAP UI provides the XML structure. So, you do not need to worry about uh, envelope and header, but uh, you need to construct this body and that is what we have done here. So, automatically the output of this is given as a payload for the web service consumption and under the uh, consume component after the uh, visual connector is configured, you may scroll down you have uh, two uh, or three parts uh, in fact, one is body, another one is headers and another one is attachment. So, here the header is blank, so you do not need to worry about it, you do not need to uh, construct the header. So, I have introduced only one tr transformation where uh, this is automatically attached to the payload. So, that is it and uh, this transformation creates the XML body as XML type and then pa pass it under the web service consumption. So, uh, that is it, uh, uh, but uh, there are certain things that you need to note uh, which I am going to demonstrate now. So, let us delete all this and uh, let us introduce HTTP listener freshly and uh, I am going to click here and then introduce the path uh, convert. So, let us go step by step. So, I am choosing consume. So, as a first step, I uh, am dragging and dropping uh, with Visdel uh, web service consumer here and uh, uh, let us choose new one and not use the existing one. So, this is all empty. Let us go and copy the Visdel. Let us put it here. Let us bring the cursor here. So, as you note, uh, the uh, service is populated automatically. Now, bring the cursor here. It is going to fetch the uh, port here and then you can choose and then bring the cursor here. You may just note that this uh, uh, web service address automatically populated and then say ok. And uh, now, we need to choose the operation. So, we can choose add, save it. So, now we have completed the um, web service consumption configuration and the related parameters. So, now what I am going to do is, uh, so only after uh, this web service consumer component is uh, configuration is completed, you need to bring the transformation. So, let us bring this transformation here. So, now you can see here it is loading the XML metadata. So, it is loaded and uh, automatically uh, the, the data view appears here. You can choose to have it as XML and double click here. So, automatically the numbers appear and uh, so just you need to double click automatically it appears as a uh, in place of tag and now you can configure. So, I have uh, the variable automatically I mean uh, we need to add the variable here. Let us choose uh, payload dot uh, uh, input number.
So, we will choose uh, both uh, parameters with the same value. So, uh, this will be uh, loaded as a payload into the uh, web service consume operation. You can see here the payload is uh, appearing as default. You can leave headers blank. And now finally, let us transform another message uh, which is um, XML which could be either XML or JSON and we can bring out uh, um, result as payload dot uh, body. So, after the response is received from the web service, uh, you can uh, use the payload to construct your own customized uh, uh, XML output. So, that is it. So, I think it is uh, started and let us uh, try this again. Now, you can see uh, it appears because we deliberately added result to, to show how we can modify and customize the um, response received from the web service. So, that is it in this video. Uh, sorry for being very elaborate uh, to explain every step and then reconstructing the whole flow. So, I just wanted to ensure that you, you understand in a holistic way as well as uh, you understand the intricacies. So, that is it uh, in this video and uh, I hope you liked it. So, please uh, like my video and uh, subscribe my channel uh, so that I can come up with more useful videos. So, again, thanks for watching. Bye.